Taking a look today at uh, oil direction and passageways in a Volkswagen dual pressure relief case. This is one of those AS41 cases. But I made another video where I showed the plungers and the springs and a diagram on paper. And now I'm going to illustrate those same uh, notions using this case as an example. In my mind, the oil comes out of the pump and travels this way through this passage, which intercepts this passage, which comes to here, and then it can either go straight to the oil cooler or it can turn and go to this main galley and feed the bearings. If it goes to the oil cooler, comes up to here, it also supplies the indicator light comes up here to the oil cooler, comes out of the oil cooler, comes back down, gets into that same galley as if it came straight from here. So in this threaded hole, usually there's a cap with a screwdriver slot and then a spring and a plunger. If the plunger is up, this path directly to the galley is blocked and the oil has to go through the oil cooler. If the temperature is cold and or the oil is thick, it can push the plunger down, go straight to the galley, but some is still going to go through the oil cooler. But there's no pressure relief here. There's no third position where this blows out into the sump. The oil pressure relief in my mind is only at the back and I'll note at this time there's a drilling right here I've tried to highlight in orange maybe we get some more light on this which lines up with this plug so again this hole here which I've illustrated in orange lines up with this drilling this drilling is the galley itself. Now, another of these threaded passages has a cap with a screwdriver slot and there's a spring and a piston. It's my belief that the piston, when it's pushed down, connects this drilling to this drilling and the excess pressure blows out here. Now something that perhaps is misleading and we'll probably need some more light here this leads to the sump at the back of the engine. This leads to the sump at the front of the engine. But these are very low in that spring passage. It's almost these vents are right at the threads in both cases. The piston is always going to be in the way of oil getting to these vents or ports. I believe they are only there if they weren't, you'd have a column of oil under the piston and it would never move. I believe these are vents. They're only there to let the piston move up and down. What this front system lacks, and the only reason for this rear system, I'm calling the front the oil pump end. I'll flip this over again. The oil pump end has no passage to dump pressure into the sump. The flywheel end only has a passage to dump pressure into the sump. Both have a vent near the threads where the caps hold the springs in. So that's how I see it. 
Thanks, and be sure and watch my other videos.